geeky friends welcome back to my channel or if it's your first time here hi my name is melissa or missa welcome i have just woken up and i need to put some makeup on because i'm gonna go to pre-work today like the big pre-work in glasgow i'm excited it's like something i do every so often i go to the big one i have a pre-work way closer to me but it's quite small and the big one is more exciting but basically i start a new job soon and i want to see if i can get a few t-shirts and maybe just one more pair of trousers for starting, just I've got some nice clothes for that, basically. Anyway, I did throw my hair up a little bit. I actually really need to dye my hair. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but my brown is really coming through. So I desperately need to dye my hair black again. Uh, so that's why I've gone for a half up, because I feel like it hides it a little bit better. Can you see my extensions in the half up? Yes. Do I care? Absolutely not. Anyway, I kind of thought I was gonna do a black smoky eye, but being completely honest with you, I get really self-conscious walking around like on my own. If I've got like big dramatic makeup on, I just feel like people are looking at me and I don't know, I just, I don't have a lot of like confidence. I wouldn't say I'm like super anxious or anything a lot of the time, but just for my own like self, I'm t I think I'm just gonna do very natural makeup. I hope you don't mind, but we'll just chat and I'll put some of my favourite makeup on as we do it. I suppose we could do it as like a shop my stash and then I've got another shop my stash done. Let's do that. That makes it slightly more interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's once red bill today. Don't want to talk about it. Okay, I'm not going to move the camera or anything to show you my drawers. I'll just look for something that I don't use a lot because honestly, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I'm gonna try my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. I actually feel like my primer collection's not that big because primer's not usually my favorite thing. Is this okay? It smells okay. Does it? Does that smell a bit funky? I think that smells a bit funky. I'm worried that's not okay. Right, move your little bahookie, please. Right, scratch that. I think I'm gonna bin that. I missed the bin. I'm gonna try my Ekansu Radiant Glow from Be Perfect. I've actually never worn this. I've had it for so long. Does that have a pump? And I've just pulled that out. I've actually never tried this and I've had it for ages and I keep meaning to like use it in a full face first impressions but I haven't yet so. I'll just do this. I don't mind putting glow on my forehead when I've got my fringe down because my fringe is going to hide the fact that I have the wrinkliest ass forehead in the world. Anyway, um, I'm going to use this scaffy ass brush that needs washed. I'm going to wash my face brushes. Not today. Yeah, so I quit my job at the hotel. Well, I haven't quit my job. That's dramatic. I handed in my notice last week and I only have to give a week's notice, so I have to do a shift tomorrow. So tomorrow is technically my last shift. They want me to work Friday as well, but I don't want to work Friday because of a few reasons. I don't know how much I should actually say on here, but basically I don't know if I would feel comfortable working a Friday night. Oh my Lord, look at that glow. On my own again. I just, it makes me feel very uncomfortable and I don't know if I would feel very safe. So I'm really not sure if I'm gonna work it, but I'm definitely gonna do my shift tomorrow. Thursday should be fine. Right, that drawer is actually broken and your big fat bottom's now in it. Oh my goodness, this is stunning. No wonder this was selling out. I saw a big notification like, I can see glow back in stock. And I was like, is it that popular? Wow, stunning and it feels nice. By the way, my discount code for Be Perfect is 20 Missa or Missa 20, I think it's 20 Missa. It's an affiliate link, by the way. Uh, but it gets you like 20% off Be Perfect and all of their brands that they carry on their website. So it's really decent. And if you use it, I'll have more pre-mark money. I'm going to do a Patreon only video on like the deeper reasons why I'm leaving the hotel. I can't like really talk about it publicly. I'm a bit worried about it, but I'll do a Patreon only video on it. Anyway, so I've been applying to jobs for the past like maybe month because looking for a new job is so stressful in my opinion. Let me grab as my foundation the Urban Decay Hydromaniac. I've got two shades. I'm gonna mix. I'm gonna mix them. I've got shade 40 and shade 10. Which 10's probably not that far off me, but I wouldn't mind a slight, like, bit more colour. So that's 40. I don't really need to put a lot of foundation on, to be honest. Give this a shake. I'll use more of the shade 10 and hope that I can get this to match me. See, so yeah, I've been applying for jobs, but more like office roles. I've not been like looking at other hotels to try and work at because I'm really not enjoying hotel hours. I feel like they're very, very antisocial. And I was seeing someone 
I'm not anymore. It's not a dramatic story, but I'll tell you in a minute. Um, and I couldn't ever like go visit him after work or like he couldn't come here after I'd finished work because I wasn't finishing till 11. So I'm not getting home till like half 11, midnight. And then I'm having to get up for work at 4 a.m. the next day for my next shift and I'm just not in hotel hours anymore. It just doesn't do it for me. This color is gonna be fine. But I will save some to take down my neck. Mm. Uh, so I was like more focusing on like office type jobs, admin -y type roles, that kind of thing. And I got a call for, I won't say the company, obviously. Let's say a construction firm in the town that I live in. And uh, went to the interview, I was so nervous. I was sitting outside in the car. I was like 45 minutes early, even though it's a five minute drive for me. And uh, I was texting all my friends from the Sausage Telegram group frantically, like so nervous. How stunning is that i need to use that hydromaniac more i've got four bottles of it i think three i've got three bottles of it i need to use it more i feel like i just got on really well with the person interviewing me and it went really well and she was like well you'll find out tomorrow or you'll find out by the end of the week it depends and she phoned me the next day when i was sitting at work with my boss beside me and i was like oh i really need to take this call but i can't so yeah, I phoned her back and she was like, yeah, we want to give you the job. And I was so excited because it's nine to five, which I've never had a nine to five before. I'm really excited. It's literally, I know what I say, it's like a dream. People are gonna be like, it's a nine to five. Why is that a dream? It literally is when you've only worked shifts in hospitality before, nine to five is like a dream. I need to find a concealer that I never use. I'm gonna use this Dior one, backstage one. Um, nine to five, no weekends. The pay, is um well above minimum wage like per hour not like not heaps and heaps but i've only ever been on minimum wage in my like roles apart from when i like worked my way up a bit but even then it was in hospitality so the wages were so crap but yeah it's like good pay it's a 16 hour contract and she said in the interview potentially i think three days a week eventually which would be so good for me so yeah i start that on may the 1st so again, tomorrow's my last day at the hotel. It's supposed to be Friday. We'll see how it goes. But if I'm literally sitting there crying, not feeling safe in a job, I don't think I will go in on that day, but uh, I'll still complete my contract and my like contracted uh, notice period. You know what I mean? So we'll see, but yeah. I'm very excited to start it because I just feel like it's two days a week and it's nine to five so it's not 4 a.m starts I could get up at half seven every morning and still be ready or 8 a.m and be ready for work and then be home by five plenty of time to spend with the boys and relax or even go out and do fun stuff and then have the rest of the days the five days to film so realistically probably film three or four of the days and then have just one full day not filming or doing anything because sometimes I think everyone needs a day off every week at least one day Day of doing nothing of importance you know so I'm very excited about it I've never had a nine-to-five and yeah now I feel like I've said it all and I've only done base that concealer is really pretty I wouldn't write home about it but yeah I'm going for a very like I want to go for a natural ish look today so it absolutely suits what I want from my makeup today I'm trying to think what other news I have oh I applied for there is a hair extensions academy and salon in Aloha and they were advertising an admin role again 16 hours basically you know answering calls answering emails scheduling appointments ordering uh tea and coffee you know salon kind of reception work so I applied for that like two or three weeks ago and I hadn't heard back until yesterday and John's waiting to go in for an interview I'm gonna say my skin is looking real nice like very natural but very nice I'm just gonna go quick no let's put um, if I'm just going natural what kind of blush let me put on my favorite blush because I used it yesterday and was like I remember why I love you my Primark cream blusher in rose I think these are still available I've seen a couple lying around like on the shelves when I've been in Primark and this is my beloved Huda Beauty brush but this blush is just so neutral and natural obviously it's more pink leaning but it's not a crazy pink color and it's just stunning on the face oh, I got a tear. do you know what else I applied for married at first sight UK might as well imagine I was on married at first sight UK how cool would that be <laughs> 
that would be nuts. Would I have to get divorced first? I don't know because I don't think it's legally binding, right? Like the TV show. Imagine I went on that. That would be so cool. It's always been a dream of mine to go on a TV show. Anyone. Don't really care. Or like a Sillip Bang advert. <laughs> I've always wanted to like my family be sitting around one evening watching TV and I'm in an advert for Tampax. You know what I mean? And I haven't told anyone that this was happening. I always thought that would be quite funny. I love that blush with every inch of my soul. I'd probably just do a lot of cream products but I don't even know if I'm going to wear bronzer today so I'm not going to do a cream bronze. Anyway, I'm going to go run off and powder because that's really boring to watch. And I, I don't really have a powder that I never use because... I love all my powders equally and then I'll be back. Okay, I powdered with my Fenty. Again, I don't really have powders that I don't reach for in my drawer because I love them all. And then I picked out my Glam Glow Glow Setter. Look at this. Look how minging that is. That is so old. Still smells good. Does it? Let me see. Still smells good. This is my like ultimate favourite setting spray. I would have a thousand of these but they're quite pricey and also the L'Oreal Shake and Glow is very similar but I've been like saving this for best. What is going to be the best? I don't know. I might die tomorrow, you know what I mean? So just use it, Melissa. So I'm going to use this as my setting spray plus the powder took away like pretty much all the shine and I want to bring a bit of that back. Yep, still smells good. Mm. I'm still obsessed with this fan that Car Kerry got me like, I don't know, two years ago or something. I've had to charge it like three times in its life. It's so good. Oh, I love it. I promise, no, maybe tomorrow, yeah tomorrow. I'll film my black smoky eye tomorrow but I'm gonna do it with like a touch of blue. I'll do that before work. We'll go into work for my last shift, potentially, looking dramatic. <sighs> what was I gonna do? What was I reaching down there for? Look at that colour match. It's not that bad. I think I look a bit more pink down here. Do I? I don't know. I'm gonna mix my two rare beauties. No, I always use them. I do always use it. I'm forgetting. I'm supposed to be picking stuff that I don't use that much. What do I not use? I feel like I use all my highlighters pretty equally. I've got an Ofra one. I've got Ofra Star Island that I've had for about a thousand years. So let's use this and I never reach for it anymore. Honestly, I just prefer a more day-to-day -day highlight. Look, it's still got the... Will we do it together? Hold on. Slower, you slut. <laughs> yeah, we'll just use this. I just usually prefer a more natural highlight to be honest, but let's just do this. This used to be a favourite of mine. I always put it in between my brows, I don't know what, and then drag it down my nose. Plus that area is covered by my fringe anyway, and I go right the way through my brow and then up a bit, even though it's going to be covered by my fringe. Fringes are the best thing ever. Right into the corner of my eye. I think Robert Welsh said that he did that in a video and I do it now. Very impressionable. I'm just so excited about this job. I'm so excited to try 9 to 5. Again, the person that interviewed me who I'd be working with a lot, she seemed so cool and like chatty and chill and just like my kind of person. Um, although she was, oh do you know what they did? She was, when I was sitting in the interview, it was kind of like before it started, she was like, uh, oh, we, we watched your YouTube channel. And I was like, what? And she's like, yeah, we, we watched some of your videos, like her and the, the other guy that works in the office. I was like, no, you didn't. I was sitting there like this. She's like, yeah, because we always like look up people's social media that we're like interviewing or gonna work with. And then uh, we couldn't find anything on you. And I was like, oh, could you not? Um, I'm gonna take my Beauty Crop Glow Milk in peer pressure for my eyelids and I was like do you know what I go by Missa on like everything like Facebook obviously YouTube Instagram everything I was like I don't go by Melissa so I was like maybe that's why you couldn't find me but anyway she eventually found my YouTube and they watched it and I was like that's so embarrassing I don't even know what to say and she was like no it's really good she was like it actually gives you an advantage I don't know why maybe because they like saw my personality or something and thought that I would be a good fit for the team I'm not sure but yeah that was embarrassing so they've seen my YouTube channel so yeah I just love a bit of glow pretty much all over the eyelid mostly focused on the lid but I just take it up the whole area just with my finger always doesn't have to be fancy and then it just gives a little satin satin to the lids and I love this highlighter so much but it is a little bit dark for me 
And then I'm going to take my favourite palette in the entire world because I do this every single day that I'm alive. And I'm going to take the white and this pe like peach, it's not peach, it's beige. And just pop that on my inner corner just for a bit of brightness. My love for this palette is literally never ending. I literally, I could talk about it every single day. It's just how I feel. Nice bright inner corner. What do we have to do? Blush. That pre-work blush is still showing through so beautifully, but let's put on a bit of powder blush on top. What powder blush do I not use? I feel like I use all my blushes quite a lot because I'm very much a blushaholic and a lot of these are creams which I'm not going to use. Mm, what about an old? I could use my old NYX Sweet Cheeks. This is in the shade Rose and Play. Do you remember when I used to absolutely adore this? I still do. Uh, although I... I'm feeling a makeup declutter coming on soon, like for blushes and foundations and stuff. I don't know, I just feel like it's it's necessary. Anyway, I'm gonna use this. This is the glowy one. I'm just gonna do some nice pink flushy cheeks. I just think it looks healthy, especially when I'm doing a very natural makeup. I don't really like doing my orangey peachy cheeks when I'm doing natural makeup because I feel like I naturally flush pink, so it just looks better on me if I use a pink blush for this kind of thing. And I'll probably put on like a pink lip and because I don't have bronzer to worry about I don't have to worry about it not blending into those other products honestly I think Anna changed my life by just saying to me oh I just don't put bronzer on then what it literally never crossed my mind to not put bronzer on I thought it's not makeup bronzer that's what you do it's just what you do honestly literally changed my life thank you Anna Anna B G. I'm so chaotic with my makeup when I'm just doing like natural everyday makeup. Like, <laughs> I just whack it on. And I'm gonna put some of me freckles on with this palette. And also nip off and do my brows. Absolutely no way in hell I'm doing those on camera. I was saying it to my pal yesterday because she keeps saying to me, Melissa, you can do more simple looks on YouTube and people will still like the videos and they'll still watch the videos. She's like, A, people like simple makeup and B, people watch your channel because they like you as well. It's not just about the makeup. And I honestly think I'm too ugly to do natural makeup on my channel. And I know I'm not ugly. Like, I know I'm not. Um, but I feel like if you are incredibly beautiful, you can get away with doing lovely natural day 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 to day t uh, makeup. That's my actual freckle there. I feel like you can just do really lovely flushes of easy going everyday makeup and you just look stunning but that's because you're already beautiful. I think that's why I've always kind of defaulted to dramatic makeup because I feel like it then the makeup's the focus not my face. Do you know what I mean? So I'm like even this I'm gonna struggle to take a thumbnail for this video because I'm gonna feel like I just look hideous even though I know I don't look hideous but I don't look like my Melissa YouTube-ness if you know what I mean. And I'm like fine without makeup on like I'll go out and about without makeup on and be okay, but <laughs> it's just one of those things. I don't know how to describe it. I'm sure someone or even a lot of you will know what I mean. Like you just don't feel like you're pretty enough for natural makeup, but at the same time, like you know you are. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm gonna go throw my brows on and then we'll put a wee lash on together and then a wee lip. Cause I don't think I need bronzer. What about a tiny bit of contour? Like who's gonna tell me off? Nabdi. I'm gonna use this with Ciate angled brush, my Kevin Aquan, and I mean the toonchiest bit, like almost nothing. Tip of the schnoz. We were on the chin. I can't blend chin contours, so not very much. I don't need it up there. Tiny bit there. Like I'm barely applying anything. It's the toonchiest. Toonchiest. That's not even a word. Oh, under the lip though. <laughs> that is important. I need to put the bins out. That's a really boring thought. Right, I'll come back with my brows on. And they're gonna look hideous by the way, but I'll come back with them on. The lure lash glue. I mean, look at the difference that a wee lash makes. We're gonna use, by the way, doll beauty lashes. This was in a multi-pack. I don't think they're the Dolly Wispies, but they are really pretty and just nice for like a day look, I think. I can't actually see my monitor because my mirror's in the way, so I don't know if I'm in focus. Anyway, Velour Lash Glue is the best and I will die on this hill. It is expensive. I think it's about £11 on boots or something and obviously compared to like dual glue, it's like double the price, but I trust Velour Lash Glue with my life. Like if I was in a tornado, it, my lashes wouldn't come off. 
I'm obsessed with doll lashes. I think they are genuinely the best and their multi-packs are really good prices. Like £7.50 for like three pairs or that big set of six I got for £11 on like a TikTok deal. Just utter nonsense because you can reuse them over and over again. Unlike my 117s which are still a favourite, don't you worry, but I can't reuse them so I don't love them as much. I tend to go in with my fingers to put them on first and then use my lash tool. I think this is a velour one actually, but you get them on Amazon for like 99p. Clamp, clamp, clamp. Shop. Outer corner isn't even on my eye. Good one, Melissa. The outer corner isn't even on the eye. I don't really care. I'm going to take a bit of my MAC paint pot. It's a brown one on this tiny little BK 208 brush. It's the best brush in the world. And I like to put a bit of darkness just there because I, then I feel like it looks like the lash goes the entire length of the eye and it looks great. Er, Too Faced, the nude pencil. My favourite one, can you tell? The Too Faced Killer liners are the titties and I should have used one that I never use. <laughs> I forget what I'm filming half the time when I'm filming it and my bad girl bang waterproof which is completely running out. And it makes me very sad. I love lower lashes and I don't understand when I see girls on TikTok cutting them off with scissors. It upsets me. I mean it doesn't. It's your own eyelashes but I love lower lashes. Don't look at my brows. They're a pigeon. The difference a lash makes. Go! Yes! Yeah boy. I might re-stick that on so the outer corner is actually on. But that's pretty much the lash. Mm. I'm going in with my Kylie Charm lip liner I think it is. Yeah because it was from the Charm lip kit. Just because it's quite a neutral colour, but it's quite pink as well. Also, you might notice I have a bit of eyeliner on. I was trying to make my eyes look even. I'm watching Stephanie Harlow's new video, The Trial of Letitia Stouk, part one. It's like two and a half hours long. It's so good. I love her videos so much. See, it's quite a neutral one. Mm. But... Do I want, mm, what do I want? I've got a lot of nudes, but I've got a lot of like MAC pinks. Do you know what, Saint Germain might be good for this. Just to blend in to the lip liner. I just want to have a pinky lip, because it will go with my blush. I think I've had this Saint Germain lipstick for maybe seven years. <laughs> I don't want it too, 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 too pink, but I want it pink. And last touch. Hairspray, my fringe. I actually don't like putting hairspray on my fringe. I feel like it makes it look really greasy and I prefer if it just flips and flops, right? I need to go straight in and curl my hair and then we will be done well. Straight in my fringe, put some curls on my hair because I just had them in had it in braids last night and then we will be finished. I might put a bit of lip gloss on but because I'm going to be like walking about outside a little bit and uh, I don't want my hair getting stuck, we'll see. I've been gone for ages, you see when I'm filming I get totally sidetracked, I've been gone for like an hour just like texting people and stuff. Anyway, all my makeup is done, I've heard the good news, it's probably not exciting for anyone but I got a new job and tomorrow's my last day and I'm excited, I'm not so excited and now I'm gonna go to Primark and see if they've got any nice like work bits. It's a very casual office I'm told but I want to like wear like nice office clothes for the first while until I settle in you know and like get a vibe of what like everyone else wears. But anyway, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna piss off and go to Primark. I'll come back and show you what the makeup looks like and maybe show you what I got in Primark if I get anything exciting. But yeah, I'm gonna piss off. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please take give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. What look? No, it'll be too late. It'll be too late, ignore that. Just leave me a nice comment. And subscribe if you haven't already for more thrilling content from me and I'm gonna piss off and I'll catch you on the flip side and we've got a visitor. Got a visitor. See, we have a little fat potato. Just in time for the outro. Hmm? Are you okay, darling? Look at those handsome beans. Those beans. What a lovely boy. Okay, bye. Say bye. Mm -hmm.